every day, every day. You just see all sorts of different boats. The Andres Del Corral loves it. His amazing view each morning. He's also happy that his condo building has enough residents here today to stop fears of big assessments, things like trouble with the elevator working, amenities possibly halted. Absolutely, it was in the back of my mind. At first, you know, this building was 10%. It wasn't selling. The developer actually had to turn around and start leasing out units. The CIU found the latest real estate numbers showing 85% of downtown Miami condos now occupied up more than 20% from two years ago. First of all, it has an impact on the retail and other businesses in downtown because all of those new residents need services. With the new real estate numbers showing that more people are now living either in or near downtown Miami, there are opportunities to start up new businesses, new concepts and ideas, not just for business, but also for new retail outlets. These pedals are uh, present right, but... Uh... One is one of the retailers calling the new Bureau Miami in Midtown home. It's the new way for startup companies, sharing wide open office and retail space. We recycle paper, plastic, and aluminum during the year, and then we make watches out of it. For 400 bucks, you get a desk, internet, fax, phone, a conference room. You can even ride your skateboard to work. It is a lot better than Starbucks, is a lot more conducive to doing business, um, obviously, we provide way more amenities. So I think we are uh, an exciting alternative to Starbucks for entrepreneurs and creatives. Feinstein says Starbucks, move over. He says this is the new way for shoppers and creative businesses choosing to share this space over hanging out at a coffee shop. For more on how it works, go to NBCMiami.com. Willard Shepard, NBC, Midtown Miami.